throwing this in there and replacing those other items once December hits. I haven't quite decided to believe, but I'm looking. I am currently getting ready because I'm finally getting my hair cut. It's long overdue, like really long overdue. I've been meaning to get it cut for a long time. I'm going to actually get it cut pretty short, I think. This is what it looks like currently. It's like all the way down to my belly button actually and really just needs to be cut. Right now it's like super frizzy and kinky because I had it braided and I thought maybe I should try to make it a little bit smoother for when I go to the salon. I don't know. Yeah, I just kind of felt like vlogging honestly. thought I would, you know, grab a couple clips here and there of days that I do something interesting and then obviously I'll make it focused to like my outfits and what I'm wearing and a little bit different from my usual like outfits of the week type of videos because those aren't as vloggy like they're just my outfits so yeah I thought I would have some fun and play with that format a little bit but yeah I'm really excited to have my hair cut finally I really just want to have some more layers and some volume and definitely want to have some front pieces as well like the curtain bang look to play around with. I just am ready for a change and I was thinking about coloring my hair too but I think I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna keep it natural for now and also like I think I'm gonna be able to use claw clips so much easier because when you have super long hair it does not hold. Like <laughs> you can't find a claw clip big enough for this amount of hair that I have. So I've been able to kind of like finagle it a little bit to make it work but it doesn't work honestly. I'm actually back home and I was running late so I had to hurry up but this is what I ended up wearing today I've got on my jean shorts these are the vintage ones that I thrifted not that long ago it's in my capsule and then also this button-up blouse that has a lot of this shirring in the front and a little ruffle at the bottom and then I've got on my Mary Jane flats these are from Ada they basically go with everything and I love them and then I decided to do a bit of color with the bag this is a Liz Claiborne one that I've thrifted and then I kept the green going with my my earrings. I think these were a bridesmaid gift if I remember correctly from my friend's wedding. And then just my moon necklace there from Pascal James. These sunglasses are from Target. This is a little bit more of like a classic outfit than I would normally go for. Like I don't typically do like a button up and denim. Yeah, I kind of like it. I think it looks kind of Parisian. It's been a while since I've worn jeans like for a longer period of time and I remember why I don't love it because they're just a little bit more constricting, but it's fine. These are, these are not too bad. All right, about to go out, probably gonna hit the thrift store and then we definitely need to go to the grocery store today. So this is what I'm wearing. Decided to go for my high neck tank top and my black maxi skirt. And then I do have on my floral button up shirt over the top just to kind of cover my arms and my shoulders because I usually like to do that. And then this is the bag that I'm doing, the green Liz Claiborne one. Hopefully that doesn't read too like Christmas, but also doing just some sandals, keep it easy. And then my hair is up in a clip, which now that it's shorter and layered, I can actually like put it up so much easier. And then I'm just doing my moon necklace from Pascal James. Don't even feel like wearing earrings. So that's the whole outfit. I'm also wearing my sunglasses. These are the ones from Target that I'm wearing all the time right now. <laughs> you have your water. Yeah, but yeah, we're at the Goodwill parking lot right now. So we're gonna go ahead and go inside. I'm mostly just looking for a couple things for my son. If there's anything cute, usually I'll try to grab it. And then of course I'll look, see if there's anything for me also. I don't need these, but these braided belts are kind of cool. It's also kind of cute. This is London Fog. A cute little patchwork backpack. It's leather. Cute. Little green one is cute too. Very 90s. Y2K. I've been looking for a little bit more of like hobo, slouchier, bigger bags. Because I have a lot of like small or like shoulder bag type of things. So I kind of like this one. Like I like how slouchy that is, but not good quality material. So this is so cute. I love the cut of this, the shape of it, and the neckline. I think that's super cute. 60s mod so check out this suit set that is an intense blazer but it's really cool it's got beading all along it cool design it's also cute a skirt suit set in this kind of brown tweed i like that a lot but 
feels kind of itchy. Oh, it's a romper. That's cute. We know the fruit print things are super big right now. This looks vintage or handmade. I've been looking for like a sweater dress or something like that off the shoulder too, which this is like perfect. I don't know if I want a green color though, but this is really cute. This was in like an adult size. Not gonna lie, I'd probably get it because it's kind of cool. I like the shiny fringiness and the skirt's basically like a big blanket, very fall appropriate. It's actually cute too. It's like a wool skirt, but it's got sequins on it. I think that's such a fun, subtle way of adding some interest to an outfit or something. Kind of looks like it might have shrunk though because the lining is sticking out underneath. This is a pretty suede skirt, perfect for fall. And it's in a brown color, really nice. Some strappy little Stuart Weitzman heels. Those are cute. I kind of like these too. I like the red and the style of it. Someone must have donated their entire collection of this brand. But I love this metallic one with the toe. That's super cute. Just not in really good condition because the heel is kind of worn down. A couple of silvery, rhinestone-y flats, but I don't love the shape of those. I think they look a little too dated with the round toe like that. This little fur jacket is so good. I love this shape and the style of it. I just wish it wasn't gray because I wouldn't wear that probably. Also, I think this is really good too. I really like this like collarless look right now. Also, this cardigan is super cute, very academic looking. <laughs> Okay, shall we do a little thrift haul? Not very many things. So you can see the little tent back here. Bennett got this for his birthday from my friend Sydney. She got that for him and he loves it. So cute. So we just left it like set up right here. Probably eventually move it up to the playroom. For now, it's just chilling. But I did end up getting the London Fog bag. So this is actually in this kind of deep purple almost plum i did like the hardware on there and also because it is a bit of a larger bag i don't have anything else in this kind of color yeah i just thought it was a good sized shoulder bag and also like a really good color for fall he only charged me 3.99 for it which i think is probably a mistake but i got it for 3.99 which is great and the inside looks pretty good it's like pretty clean and then i also did pick up the pair of red heels like a little kitten heel pointed toe i just loved this detail right here so it almost kind of looks like corsetting these are definitely vintage you can tell like the inside's not holding up very well i feel like with a lot of vintage shoes that happens a lot but you can tell also that it's never been worn like it's brand new and the heel is like in good condition everything like everything else on the outside looks great and yeah, I've been loving a pop of red lately, so I feel like this would be really cute. And with the red tights, like that would be so adorable. I think they're a little bit big, maybe like a half size. That's how they look like on. I think they're so cute and I think would be great underneath even like this maxi skirt. But even if I did like a pair of trousers or something, such a good staple shoe that has a little bit of extra detail. And I love that. And then I did end up buying this, even though I didn't get to try it on because when I'm there with my toddler, I'm not gonna go in the changing room. I just decided to get it and then if it doesn't work i'll just return it and exchange it for something else but i did get that fruit printed romper yeah almost positive that this is handmade just the way that it looks on the inside they did a really good job though like they even zigzag stitched the zipper seam and stuff and then did a little bias tape of ribbon like they did a great job maybe i'll just try this on right now just to see okay so it actually fits pretty well which is exciting i absolutely love the sleeves and the neckline of it i just don't know if i love the fact that it's like a romper that's with like this longer short so this is how it looks like from far away i mean i don't hate it but i feel like i wish there was something else it even has pockets which is awesome there is a little bit of like extra fabric here though like and that's always happens with rompers like everybody's body is totally different so I mean, it's like I could stand with like it being lifted up a little bit or maybe even if I put some pleats here to kind of create a little less ballooning happening, you know, going on here. But also I'm thinking like, would I love this more as either like just a top or even like a dress? Like I could use this fabric and like make it a skirt out of it instead. I could picture this being like a cute little mini dress with a little slit right here on the leg or something. You guys can give me your thoughts on that, but I really love the top part. Like I love the sleeves and this and yeah, it does fit pretty well. And I love the pattern. The pattern is so cute. It's like little oranges. I don't know, give me your thoughts, but I think I'll keep it and try something with it. This is something else that I picked up on a different day when I went thrifting. Apparently Goodwill has a little boutique store so they'll like get some of like the nicer things and mark it up higher basically and sell it there. So I found this there, this little cropped cardigan but it's Kate Spade and it's in a lovely material. I love the buttons on there, the cute little bow detail on the side here of the sleeve. Such a classic timeless piece that I know I can have in my wardrobe for a really long time. They marked it as $25.99 but the purple tags 
were half off that day. So yeah, got that for basically $13. So excited about it. I think you could style it in so many different ways and layer it up as well. Again, loving the red right now. Hello, how's it going? I uh, just finished getting it ready and I feel like I'm starting to kind of get a hang of styling this hair. I'm still like trying to get used to it because I'm used to having a lot of length to work with. So yeah, but I do like it. I love how voluminous it is. Thought I would just show you my outfit today. This is actually an outfit repeat because I've worn this outfit before and actually posted it on my Instagram. This is like my favorite way of wearing this skirt right now. This is in my capsule if you guys have seen it, just like all of this actually is. It's actually a midi skirt, but I like to pull it up high and make it look like a shorter skirt so that with the long t-shirt, it creates this cute little silhouette. And I do have some socks on. They're white with little blue polka dots. Felt like that tied in nicely and I actually wore this with my Nike kill shots today. Although before I've worn it with my ballet flats as well. So either one is a really cute option, but jewelry, I just did a big hoop and that's about it. But I really want to do something today. I'm going to do a little bit of an edit of my closet, I think, because we're a little bit over halfway through like the fall capsule months that I kind of designate for myself. So like September through November. When I put it together, I wasn't sure like how soon it was going to get cold, if it was going to get cold at all. Like I kind of put a capsule together that I felt like could work. But now that we've had like a week of cold and another week of cold is coming, I do feel like my capsule is not quite working for me as well as I would hoped and I keep finding myself grabbing things that are not part of my capsule so I think I need to do a little bit of an edit. I'm thinking what I'd like to do is actually go through all of my closet again just kind of like you know a brief pass not a huge thing but pull out some of the summer things that I did leave behind thinking that you know I could still kind of transition them which I did but now I feel like ready to put those away so I'll do that and then I think also I'll look through my storage and see if there's anything I'd like to pull out. We're not quite to the point of wearing like thick sweaters or anything, but I feel like having like a lightweight knits or something would be nice to have. I think I'm gonna have to play around a little bit and make some tweaks and some edits, but I thought I would bring you along with me on that as well. And we can kind of go through it together. So things like this top that I kept out, if you watched my little declutter, I kept this out thinking maybe I would get some wear out of it, but I definitely didn't because, you know, that's definitely a summer item. This little eyelet top as well, like very summery, still pretty warm. I could still wear these now, but I'm just not wanting to because they're just not fitting the mood, you know? Even some shorts and stuff, like I think these can go and I feel like that'll help free up some space and some hangers. Whereas I feel like something like this, even though it's a short, I feel like it feels just much, much more fall to me as opposed to like this kind of linen short. And then in my actual like capsule section, I even have another eyelet top that I had included. Like I'm not wearing this one. I think I'm gonna take that one out as well. And even these two, definitely the pants, but I think maybe even these shorts might have to kind of go now. I definitely haven't been wearing them as much as I had been. They're still a really nice, easy, casual short, but I think I might want to replace it. Like I'm thinking even these are some gingham pants, but they're black and white. And although they also kind of read a little bit summer, I feel like they could still work for like a fall. Like especially if you're wearing like a black with it or wearing it with like a sweater or something. To me, it feels just a little bit more appropriate right now than wanting to wear this kind of breezy linen pant. I don't know. And I know I'm not really one to say like fall has to have certain colors. I think that's just kind of what I'm feeling. Like I'm okay leaving like colors in here. Like I'm gonna leave the green and stuff, but maybe throwing this in there and replacing those other items, maybe making a few other tweaks could help a little bit. Like, I think I'm also feeling like I'm missing some kind of like dressier, tighter fitting top, especially because I've got some like looser bottoms, like the cargo pants, some knitwear, like I was saying, like if I were to throw in just a little cardigan like this, I'm gonna grab my storage bins from up here and take a look at some of my like fall winter items and see if there's anything else that I'd like to bring out. So this is actually the pile of stuff that I'm going to be storing away. Things that were in my capsule along with this dress I think I'm going to put away. And then just some other like summery things that were still in my wardrobe at the time. It's always nice to have things in your wardrobe that you are actually wearing right now currently. So that's why I like to do this. I know it's like extra work and not necessary if you don't want to, but I like having 
having what I'm actually wearing visible right there that I can pull from and then get everything else out of the way. Although I'm probably gonna be doing this again for like the winter season, like once December hits. So maybe I'm just being a little bit too quick and jumping the gun, but you know what? If it's not working for you, then making changes is fine. So yeah, I have no problem going through my clothes again. I actually pulled out a couple things that I'm gonna declutter as well. So that's another thing too, like going through and touching all of your clothes and your items helps you to know what you actually have. And then you'll realize maybe you don't need some of the things that you have. <laughs> the only things I'm gonna pull out, I think right now are a couple of blazers cause I've been missing those I feel like in my closet and I've got some really nice ones here. And then also my black ones that I could have really used in my last video. If you've seen that, then you know. Those three blazers, and then I've been looking for this one. It's just like a workout type of jacket thing. So yeah, I'm gonna take that one out as well. And that's really it. I think I've already kind of taken out anything else that I could have wanted whenever I did my seasonal switch. So we're good there. I'm glad I got some of that stuff out of the way. I'll show you kind of the things that I think I'm gonna be adding to my capsule. So I haven't quite decided fully, but I'm looking at maybe be adding in another pair of cargo pants because I recently got these and I absolutely love the fit of them and then maybe that cardigan like I was talking about this just very basic long sleeve fitted black shirt and then maybe another crew neck I don't know I might do this one or I just found this basic crew neck sweater very lightweight sweater uh, from the men's section at Goodwill just today actually because this was on my wish list I was looking for something just really basic like this that I feel like could work with a lot of different outfits that's an option and then again like i said maybe those gingham pants i'm gonna have to play around with this a little bit but that's a bit of a gauge of some of the things i might be adding i did end up taking out maybe four or five pieces from my capsule so i definitely am gonna add something back in but yeah you'll have to stay tuned until i do my capsule recap video probably in like a month but yeah i hope you had fun coming along with me on some of these things they're just not as in depth to make like a full video on so i feel like a vlog is like the perfect place to throw them in just like a compiled jumble of things just going on in my life but yeah i'm going to sign off here i hope you guys have a great rest of your day i'll see you guys in the next video bye